Welcome back to part 7 of Feel the Beat with FL Studio. In this section, we are going to look at some of the more common effects used to give our song more flavor. Using the mixer, we can assign different effects to different channels using the effect slots on the right side of the mixer. Let's start with our single basic snare pattern to demonstrate. Switch back to pattern mode and select the snare pattern in the playlist window. Now we should be hearing only the snare when we press the spacebar. In the mixer window, we can add effects to the snare using the effect slots. Let's take a look at Delay 2. Once we have selected the effect, we should be able to hear it immediately. We can use the basic controls on the delay to change the effect it has on our snare sample. The cut knob gives the delayed signal a filtered effect and time changes the time between repeats. We can also use the wet dry knob to mix the amount of delayed signal. Remember, we've singled out the snare just to make the effect more clear. You can play with the effects in song mode so the effect is easier to match with the rest of the sounds in your song. Now let's replace the delay with a reverb too. Again, we can hear it immediately. Reverb gives the impression that the snare is being played in a large space or room. The controls on the reverb allow us to change the size of the room sound and the quality or number of surfaces in the room using the size and diffusion controls. Wet dry also helps here to separate the snare from the reverb sound, keeping the snare more pronounced and less washy. Now let's try replacing the reverb with FL's parametric EQ. Basically, an EQ controls the amount of bass, treble, or mid-range in a sound or sample. Our snare is mainly made up of mid-range and treble, and we can use the EQ to make the snare more crisp or dark, depending on what we were looking for. This plugin has the same effect as the built-in EQ on the mixer, so you can use either one for this effect. The easiest way to start is to turn up the volume of an EQ band and then sweep the frequency to find the quality that we want more or less of. Once that's done, we can turn up or down that specific EQ band. If you're not sure what is working for your sound, it's better to be delicate with EQ to keep things from getting out of control. Again, play around to find out what works for you and use the song mode to match the effect to the rest of your sounds. In our next installment, we will look at adding our own audio and MIDI from external sources. Remember, there are 10 parts to this tutorial, so be sure to check out the other episodes in the Feel the Beat with FL Studio series.